What's up JR Business? Welcome back to the channel. So super busy, packed day today. In just a couple hours we are flying out to Indianapolis, Indiana because we are attending this year's Indy 500 race. So we are super excited for that. We're really looking forward to that. Never been there before, this is the first time ever. So uh, it's gonna be a ton of fun. So you're definitely gonna wanna follow us on our automotive channel, JR Garage, watch that all go down. Um, but anyway, like I promised last video, I said next video would be talking about a highly requested topic, and that is eBay SEO. So getting your listings to the tops of search results. As you guys know, we've been using eBay for 10 years now, very successful on the platform, and we have hundreds of listings that occupy very high SEO rankings on search results. For example, I was just checking this morning, there's a search result with 1.8 million results, 1.8 million eBay listings, and we occupy two of the top three slots. Do you know how hard that is? <laughs> and it's the same thing with Google SEO, search engine optimization. You wanna be at the top of Google uh, searches, which is once again, very difficult, but if you can pull it off, you're gonna drive a lot more traffic to your store, listing, etc. So that is what we're gonna be discussing today. I got a bunch of points that I'm gonna hit on. Uh, we gotta hop in the car because we have to head to the airport very soon here. Our flight leaves in like two hours. Uh, I wasn't sure if I would have enough time to film this video, but hey, like I said, I promised it, so I'm gonna deliver, and it's gonna be a super good video. So without further ado, I'm walking up to the front. Oh, dang it, turn off the lights. See you later. Okay, into the Audi S6 we go, and uh, let's get talking eBay. All right guys, made it in the car, so I gotta go pick up Christian, and then we gotta head right off to the airport. So I'm gonna film this video now on the way there. I picked the S6 because it's nice and quiet. You guys can hear me a little better than some of the other cars because what, uh, what I'm gonna say is pretty important. So let me start by saying eBay SEO is very tricky. They are constantly changing things, tweaking things, updating the platform, so you have to stay up to date and if you don't make certain changes when they need to be made, you're gonna drop in the SEO ranking. So it's very hard to stay relevant and at the top, but we've managed to do it by following these steps. So it breaks down, the, like the three big things I'm gonna be talking about are performance of your account, the listing setup, and your customer satisfaction. eBay SEO really falls into those three categories. Those three categories are gonna what, what's gonna make up your, your ranking, basically. Account setup. What I mean by that is you have to have a bunch of prior experience with eBay. For example, eBay is not going to put the number one listing uh, as somebody who has four points. Like, they're, they're just not gonna do it. Or 40 points, or 400 points even. So you need a lot of seller feedback points. Being a top-rated seller or a power seller is going to help immensely. Top-rated seller, that one's really tricky to get. You have to like accept uh, refunds. You have to have a certain shipping time. You can't be delayed on shipments. You have to have a certain customer satisfaction. You have to meet all these standards, uh, have a certain number of transactions and dollar and dollars amount in sales. All these things to be a top rated seller, but you get a discount on seller fees, things like that. And again, it helps with SEO. And like I said in the last couple of eBay videos, so I've talked about eBay a few videos now. I did one with my buddy Prince, who is killing it with electronics on eBay. Uh, he has some of the top slots on popular searches with electronics, which is which is huge. Too bad I don't have him with uh, sitting shotgun. We could both be talking. But anyway, go check out that video if you want. But we just talked about more eBay in general there and what he does. Um, but this one's focused strictly on SEO. So like I stressed in that video and my latest eBay video, it is huge to start now by setting up an account now. It's free, simple to do. If you can start using the platform, gaining experience on it, knowing how things work, knowing how to buy an item, knowing how to sell an item, just learning the basics, and then at the same time building up some feedback points, that's big. So that once you get going and you get 50 points, 100 feedback points, you start climbing so that you look like more of a reputable seller to the buyer's eye. But now I wanna talk about your listing setup, which is crucial. There are so many things to hit on here. I talked about it a little bit last video, talking about uh, passive income off eBay and setting up like successful cash cow listings that kind of just rank really well, make you a bunch of money over the long term. Uh, but how do you get those listings to rank well? How do you do that? So again, go check out last video if you haven't seen already. But I hit on the importance of 
paying for everything that they offer on eBay. Now, what do I mean by that? If your listing is going to do super successful long-term, you're gonna make a ton of money from it, then pay for the $2 subtitle, the $4 bold title, the secondary listing uh, category, uh, the enlarged images for a dollar, like all that stuff. I just posted a listing yesterday. I think all that stuff was like $12 or something like that. So it is very little in the grand scheme of things. Some people are like, oh no, I'm like trying to save that money. Like I said, no, if you're gonna be making a lot of money from that listing, like it's a cash cow listing, replenishable, restockable, multiple sold quantity items, um, then you need to throw the money at eBay. Because my theory is when, uh, well, two things that's gonna help you with. In eBay's eyes, they I feel like since you're paying eBay more, they kinda know like, okay, you spent like you know $12 to launch this listing rather than like 10 cents. So they may help you out a little bit there. But more importantly, just in the buyer's eyes, when they see a bold title, when they see an enlarged image, when they can find you thanks to two categories, not just one. Number two is the title. Uh, I hit on this, but the importance of packing that title full, full of keywords and keywords that are people are gonna be searching. So based on what industry and niche you are in, you should know what keywords are gonna do the best. So if you're selling iPhone chargers, you better know to pack that title with, works with iPhone six, seven, eight, 10, uh, you know, whatever, USB, this, that. There's no reason not to use all the characters allowed in the title. So when you're done with the title, it should be, you know, zero or one character remaining. You need to pack that thing full. There's no point not to. You might as well put all the keyword searches in there because when so somebody searches something on eBay, it is referencing off the title unless they do a description search. But otherwise, it has to be in the title to show up. So uh, every word, every keyword that you can think of, pack it in there. And then with the subtitle, not that that subtitle is searchable in search results, but still when they're viewing your listing, it gives them, it gives you more of a chance to, you know, throw some keywords at them or throw some information at them about your listing that makes it stand out. You got all that. So now they find your listing. Um, you want to make sure they stay on your listing and they have enough information they need to know about the product. So not only are you packing in information into the title, the subtitle, but also the item specifics. Those are the pre-fill in little boxes that eBay gives you based on what category you selected. So if you're something in iPhone electronics, you know, it'll ask what iPhone, iPhone 6, 7, 8, you select that, uh, you select the condition, uh, all that stuff. So fill in that information, uh, but also the description. One of the most important parts of the listing Please do not have a four sentence description. I see it all too often. Um, that, that, that's just gonna kill your listing. If, if, you, if you're not giving them all the information they need to know about the item and you're, if you're not keeping them on your listing, they're gonna go somewhere else and find one that explains it better, for example. So definitely pack that in there. Have a nice attractive title, uh, maybe inlay a picture or something uh, in the description, but also just have paragraph upon paragraph upon paragraph. Um, you know, talk about the item on and on, and then talk about like your shipping methods. And uh, if you're an experienced account, say that. People like to be reinforced that information, or if they don't know to look, then you can tell them. So we always say, you know, hey, we're a trusted eBay seller for the past 10 years, uh, tens of thousands of feedback points. Look at our recent feedbacks, you know, reassuring confidence in them, that's very important. So mention that, but by the time you're done, it'll, it'll be quite the description, and that's good because they'll be reading a lot of it um, and knowing a lot more about your product that you're selling. So other important notes on your listing setup. Uh, these two are big, having quick shipping times, so you, I, there's no reason not to be shipping within one to two days. You shouldn't even need three day handling time. Three days starts to hurt you. Anything above uh, five days or more, that's really gonna affect your performance. But as long as you're one or two day shipping, same day, one, two, anywhere in there, you'll be good to go. So if eBay sees that you're a fast shipper and that's what you described, at the top of the listing, they'll put fast and free shipping, uh, estimated time delivery between this and this day. People wanna get their stuff quick, right? So, so if you can do fast shipping, that's only gonna help you. And also do free shipping. Me personally, every single, just about every single one of my items are free shipping. That helps with the algorithm because eBay, once again, they can, they can tell the buyers free shipping. They think it's a better deal when it's free shipping, even though you can bump up the price and account for shipping anyway. And one other big tip for listing performance, I have found a lot of success with using sales. So sales on eBay. Again, whether you're discounting it or not, you'll notice a lot of people will put on sales and it may not even be that much of a sale, but whatever, you can add 20% to the price and then put it on a 20% sale. Something about buyers seeing sale 
is going to incline them to buy. Or if you know you want to pump out some product and it's legitimately you want to move some things and offer a discount, then great, offer a discount and it will attract more buyers. And again, I think that plays into eBay SEO as well. A lot of my items that have sales on them uh, do really well. So definitely consider that, play around with that. And then one other thing that you can um, you know, experiment with is the sponsored listings with eBay. So you can pay to promote some of your listings. I do it on some of my listings and I've found some success. It'll help them move up in search results. So what I do on a new listing, I oftentimes, you know, to get it going, to get the ball rolling, because uh, by the way, if you post some beautiful listing and everything is perfect and you think it should do really well, the next day it's not gonna be at the front top page of uh, eBay. It's gonna take some time to get up there and it's gonna take some sales. But once the ball starts to get rolling, it should roll a little quicker. So to get the ball rolling, I sometimes throw some sponsored um, ad budget through eBay at it and they'll bump it up to the first page maybe if I'm lucky and then people start to see it and then some solds will start to appear and then once you start selling some items and you have good buyer satisfaction on that listing and people are leaving good reviews and they're not returning the items that will help immensely as well because at the bottom if they see uh, e eBay has reviews just like Amazon whatever so people can leave star reviews so if you have five five star reviews on your listing people are going to feel super safe buying it we all know reviews make us reassured confidence when you see good reviews on an item if you see one star reviews on an item that will hurt you a lot customer satisfaction is huge so that's why having good co communications with your customer working out problems just making sure everything is top notch with the transaction so that they leave a good review so that they leave a good feedback review on your account and if they leave a good item review that's going to be big so once you get some products sold on the listing everything is going to compound pretty quickly you'll start getting some reviews on your products you'll start to get some sold quantity ebay shows the sold amount which is a like i said in the last video good and a bad thing competition will know how much you're selling but uh, other buyers will see the number sold and be once again reassured confidence um, but you'll start to get the sold the reviews um, the the views on the listing if you can get a lot of traffic to your listing that everything, like I said, just it compounds on each other. More people view the listing, so eBay thinks it's more successful, puts it higher up on the page, and then when it goes higher up on the page, you get more people buying in it. As long as those buyers are satisfied with the product and leave good reviews, and you have a good feedback score, and you're avoiding negative feedbacks, eBay will help you. And like I said, with your account setup, if you happen to be a top rated seller or a power seller, or someone with some experience in getting going with like an eBay store. Always have an eBay store set up, by the way, that helps you with fees and it allows people to click on your eBay store and now they're trapped in all of your listings and they're less likely to click out. They can just keep going through your listings and buy multiple products at once, so that's big. But once you have all of these things set up, like I said, things just start rocking and rolling. So an example of this, a listing I started two months ago. I thought it would be a good listing like nothing crazy but i knew it would be a decent cash cow listing so once again that listing i probably spent um uh, i don't know about six hours making a full thorough description i i went really really detailed on that i paid twelve dollars so twelve dollars and six hours of my time and within a couple weeks it was starting to sell i sold maybe um 30 or 40 quantity, no, 20 to 30 quantity on this listing and each item is over 50 bucks a piece. So I was making some money, I'm like, okay, that's pretty good. And then that point of compounding on things just started to hit and the listing just took off, took off. It went crazy. People were loving the items, great reviews. Uh, eBay could see that, fast and free shipping, timely deliveries, uh, tracking on all the items, just everything was, everything was to the T title picture description it was a perfect listing and it really started to take off so two months later now um, that listing that one listing has sold over seventy thousand dollars worth of product from one listing one not multiple listings one listing so that is definitely one of my most successful listings so far in that time frame two months seventy thousand dollars so that is why I stress the importance of spending your time on your listing. If you had 10 listings that you spent 10 minutes each listing and they're all like kind of just so, so subpar, that's no good. Cause then none of them are gonna search well, uh, do well in search, search results. But if you have one that does really, really well, then you're, you're off to the races. And then it's all about just making more and more listings, making more and more attractive offerings. 
uh, packaging multiple things together. Uh, and, and I stress this all the time, the importance of differentiating yourself from the competition and by doing that, offering different products, whether they're the same products and you tweak them a little bit, maybe package them differently. You know, Prince is a pro at packaging other things with the main product. So he'll, he'll add little accessories to his electronics. He'll add little bonuses so that people, once again, think they're getting more. Even though they're paying a little bit more, they think they're getting a lot more when in reality, he's actually making more money. So I do it all the time as well. So I, you're not only differentiating yourself, but you're getting more attention because you're selling something uh, different and more value in there. So it, it's only gonna help. Do not sell the same product as everyone else. It's very hard to compete and it's very hard to rank well in SEO when you're a new listing coming out of nowhere, trying to compete with ones that have been established for months, if not years. So making your products different and offering bonuses when they buy multiples. For my niche, it is huge. If I say buy two, buy three, buy four, buy 10, you know, get this, this, and this, a little bonus item. Again, they're highly inclined. I think we do it better than anyone else on eBay in our industry with people buying multiple items. Rarely will somebody buy just one from a listing when I have specials and bonuses where it's like buy two, you get this, this, and this. So they're more inclined. But anyway, that's huge. I can talk about that more on future videos. I know I was throwing a lot at you. I hope you guys uh, took most of that in and understood it. I definitely threw some nuggets out there. All right, so real quickly, guys, I wanna pull up some successful listings and see what they're doing um, right or wrong. So iPhone charger, I know I mentioned that earlier. That's an extremely competitive um, uh, search result. Number one, so once again, bam, he's using all of his characters in the title, uh, MFI, lightning cable, 3.6, foot, so USB charger, iPhone 7, 6, 6S, plus 8X, 5, SE. So he is, he's just packing them in there. I like to make, I like to pack it in there, but make it look a little cleaner. This is kind of all over the place. He's got dashes, he's got S's, uppercase, lowercase. I always do uppercase on the first letter of each word. Looks really good. He's got a subtitle, um, Apple MFI certified. So he's giving you confidence that it's a, a, a warranty product, USA warranty, uh, beware of fakes. Okay, so he's down talking the competition a little bit. There are 66 pictures in here. See what I mean, guys, by offering a lot of pictures. And so he's showing you all the colors, um, all the different lengths, all that kind of stuff. He has sold 18,707 of these. Uh, and once again, it says almost gone. That's another tip for uh, incentivizing buyers to buy. It adds the sense of urgency. So if you put, I think it's like 50% or less. So say you sold 100 of the item, make sure the quantity is like 50, 50 or less. So then they'll add like almost gone, like buy now, they could sell out soon or 90% sold or whatever. That's one way to incentivize them. So it does indeed say that here, almost gone. So whatever quantity he has left, I don't know. So he's in the US, but sometimes they say they're in the US, but really they're shipping from overseas. Um, you gotta watch that. But if you're in the US, be sure, if you're shipping from the US, be sure to put like an American flag in the title, uh, in the picture, or say ships from US or in the title or description so that people know they're gonna get it much quicker. A lot of these products are shipping from overseas in Asia, China, Taiwan, and they take a long time to get over the US, sometimes up to weeks or months. So if you say quick, um, two day shipping handling time from the US, that's gonna incentivize a lot of buyers. So that's big, definitely make note of that. Uh, okay, so his description, I guess, check it out. Uh, Okay, that's a pretty crappy description. Uh, that could be a lot better. So he just does the basics, like bullet points, design, pick your color, Apple MFI certification, just saying it's certified, specs, compatibility. Really, that's all you need, but it's not good looking. It's just a boring text. Um, I mean, it's like, okay, but it's just, it, it could be a lot better. And you, you wanna make it welcoming, put a, put a design on it, put a border on it, like make it friendly, make them wanna read everything. All right, scrolling down a bit. Uh, here's one. Ooh, a big American flag in the picture. That is because it obviously ships from the U.S. Boca Raton, Florida. Uh, let's look at his description. There you go. His description is much better. Gator cable. It's got a nice heading. It's got check out our other items, what we sell, some logos, some pictures, inlaid pictures. Like I said, that's important. Uh, there we go. Trustworthy eBay power seller. All products are shipped ready. All products are ready to ship out from our Florida, USA warehouse. So once again, if you're shipping from the US, make note of that. All orders are shipped out within one to 24 hours. So same day shipping. If you're shipping out quick, tell them that. They wanna know that. 
Uh, no waiting three to four weeks. That's exactly what I just told you. Um, so yeah, this guy is hitting on that. This is a great, great description, like miles better than that first one that I just talked about. Uh, good pictures, 31 pictures, all with an American flag in the thumbnail. Guys, the importance of US shipping. I'm not kidding, that's huge, because so many products are just drop shipped or shipped out of ch uh, China, Asia, and um, they take forever to get to you, so in the US. He sold 5,300 at, at nine, $9.99 to $16, that's uh, like $60,000. So anyway, there's a quick little rundown of uh, iPhone chargers. Hope you guys learned something there. I hope you enjoyed uh, hearing a lot of that. Again, all those have helped me greatly when it comes to eBay SEO. Comment down below, guys, what other eBay videos you wanna see us make. We'd be happy to make them. There is so much to cover. I'm glad you guys like the eBay videos, though, because, again, we've been doing it for the past 10 years. We've been extremely successful on the platform, and I still have to do a video talking about eBay shipping, what are the best shipping methods, packing methods, uh, all that stuff. I can do that. Um, but yeah, more, more eBay videos coming soon, more business videos coming soon. We'll probably film a couple when we're out in Indy, but I leave to that <laughs> right now. So I gotta go pick up Christian, but I appreciate you guys watching this video. Subscribe if you are new, leave a big like if you enjoyed it, and we will see you in the next one.